Hi everybody, in this episode I will show you a terminal that will allow us to move the cursor around, place uh, text on a certain position on the screen and uh, with a certain color. If you have followed my previous uh, Snake uh, uh, game, you will know that this is not easy to do in Java, so finally I found a way to do this properly. First we'll start with uh, changing the mode of the terminal between character mode and line mode. This is basically needed uh, when we want to read the input from the keyboard without having to wait until the user presses enter. For this we're going to use these two methods to set the terminal into what we call character mode. So then uh, the inputs are coming from the system in as the user types them, as again, without having to wait for an uh, enter to be pressed. Uh, when the program starts, we set the terminal into character mode, and when we finish, then we have to set it back into line mode, so then the terminal behaves uh, as uh, uh, we are expecting it to behave normally. What these methods do, basically, they call a shell on my uh, Mac uh, and execute uh, the command STTI with certain arguments, which will basically switch between the two modes of the terminal. Next, let's see how we can set the uh, text uh, and the background color uh, for our output. For this we need to use the ANSI escape codes. In um, the ANSI uh, specification it's enough to send some uh, escape codes in order for the terminal to interpret them and do something uh, with them. For example, in this situation we're going to use uh, an escape sequence to set the foreground, or we can use another escape sequence to set the background color of our text. What you see here is for red, we're going to set a command, uh, an escape sequence, which is basically formed of the escape character, followed by the square bracket, then 31 for color red, and M. The U001B is a Unicode character representing the escape code, uh, in uh, ASCII, this is uh, uh, character 27, so in hexa, that is character 1b. One thing to note here is when we want to set the colors back to default, we need to send um, escape code 0m, and that will switch back to the default colors. Next, let's see how we show and hide the cursor in the terminal. Of course, we need to send also some escape codes here. Namely, we are going to send the command question mark 25H to show the cursor and question mark 25L to hide the cursor. Of course, this follows the same escape codes as previously. Next, let's see how we can move the cursor to a certain location on the screen, for example to a coordinate x, y, column x, row y. For this we're going to use a sequence, uh, an escape sequence, n, semicolon m, h, where the n is the row and the m is the column. So it's enough for us to output this escape uh, sequence and then the cursor will be moved at that particular position on the screen. Next, if we want to print something at that position, well, naturally, after we set the cursor position to um, coordinate x, y, then it's just uh, as simple as outputting uh, a message to the system out. Let's see an example for this. Here we are outputting the hello world on position 1, 3, column 1, row 3, and then we move the cursor to column 1, line 20, and then the program exits. Let's see an example how we can output some uh, colors. For example, here we use the blue background color to print out hello, and then we reset the colors to print out world. Furthermore, if we want to output uh, with the yellow text, then we also need to insert the yellow uh, text command. And furthermore, if we want to output the uh, world word with red, then we need to also add the ANSI red uh, command. One thing to note here is how the uh, colors are persisted even after the program exits. Next, let's see how we can get the current position on the screen. 
For this, we're going to use a particular command, which will give us the current cursor position. So if we output command 6n to the terminal, then uh, we get a reply from this command on the system in, in the format of uh, escape character, uh, square bracket, n, semicolon, m, r, which basically gives us the n is the row and m is the column of the cursor. In this method, I'm uh, reading characters from the system in, starting with the first uh, character 27, which is uh, escape. Then reading character by character, I build this result uh, string until uh, we find the last character is an R, which is uh, ASCII code 82. Once we have this string, then we basically just uh, use a regular expression to retrieve the two positions from the uh, string. Uh, M and N, the column and the row. And for that we match on the circumflex uh, representing the escape code, the square bracket, and then we have two groups in there of uh, digits followed by an R. Once we match uh, this uh, regular expression against uh, our uh, result, then we get back the two groups representing the column and the row. Finally, we can just uh, read uh, the current position, put it into a position uh, object, and then we output it uh, to the screen. If we run this, then basically we see the position 16.3 is uh, the location of the uh, cursor after it has printed out Hello World. Let's see next how we get the terminal window size, basically how we determine the maximum rows and columns on this uh, terminal. I'm starting by reading the initial position uh, because next uh, I'm going to set back this position when we exit the method. Then I'm trying to set the position to a very high value, so uh, 10,000 for the row and 10,000 for the column. I'm using a trick here, uh, meaning that if I'm trying to set the column to a very large number, it will only set the column to the maximum allowed uh, on the screen. The same for the row. If I'm trying to set it to a very large uh, number for the row, it will only set it to the last row in the screen. Once I have these two positions, then I'm going to read the current value, and the result in this case will contain the two coordinates, the maximum row and the maximum column. I'm returning that, but before I do that, I set back the cursor to the initial positions x and y. Let's see how this works. I'm getting here the max screen position by detecting the screen size, and then I print it out at coordinates 1, 1. So what we see here is a maximum uh, 80, 25, so 80 columns and 25 rows for this particular window. Let's see what happens if we resize this window, and then we're going to run the program again. So without recompiling, we just resize the window and we run it again to see the new uh, screen uh, size. It should be 94 by 29. And that's exactly it, 94 columns by 29 rows. Next, let's see how we clear the console, so basically how we erase the entire terminal window. We're going to use in this case the J command with uh, N is 2. When N is 2, it means it will clear the entire screen. Let's quickly write this method. So what we want to output is an escape sequence with uh, n is 2 and command is j. If we want to output this to basically clear the screen, we're just going to write uh, console.clear. Let's see how this works. And there. You've seen uh, that first the screen is cleared and then the output happens. Well, thank you for watching. That's all I have for today. I hope this uh, was uh, interesting. If you'd like to see how I'm going to use this terminal, then uh, please uh, check out my other um, videos about the snake game. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye!